I would like to thank DPR Jones for his diligence in documenting the following. Without his attention to detail, the corrupt actions of this snake in the grass would not have been well known. Venom Fang X, your recent actions have left me with a little more than a feeling of disgust. In your evangelism video, where you asked your subscribers to donate to for your evangelism, you said something so clear and unambiguously that it could not have been interpreted any other way. As soon as I hit 500, okay, then anything above and beyond that I'm going to put towards Sick Kids Hospital. As well, you also indicated the following. There'll be a counter on this video. You'll, you've seen it in the bottom corner of this video, how much money we've earned so far. Uh, and you can check back on this video every day for the rest of the month. And Within a short period of time, however, you change that counter to something indicating that the amount of money is proportional to subscribers, based off of one dollar, one supporter. Well, that's pretty interesting. Now, why would you do that? As well, you added an annotation that reads, Additional funds put in saving for next month as requested. Now, in his defense, there really was someone who asked him to pool his funds over for next month. Nonetheless, however, it was a complete change from the original agreement you had with your subscribers. If I had been a donator who intended my extra money go to six kids' hospital, I would be appalled at this right now. We'll quickly see that this is the least of the behavior I'm concerned about. On his video, he added annotations indicating how much money he generated. However, Within a few days, he completely omitted the annotations and replaced it with an annotation showing only the number of donators this month. As well, he put a message on his website telling his subscribers that instead of updating them regularly on how much he donated, he will simply tell them the total amount at the end of the month. Now fine, but this leaves a bigger question. What is he doing when he tells you only the number of donators? Before, he simply took a cash amount he received and used that to determine how many people donated. $300 means 300 donators. Simple enough. But then he removed that annotation and instead added this annotation, which reads as follows. Donations exceeding $1 are only counted as $1. The objective is to create a group of donators per month. Any additional money is counted towards the next month and so on. Once there are 500 supporters, additional money goes to charity as promised. This basically means that irregardless of what the person actually donated, it's only counted as $1. So instead of counting the dollars and using that to gauge the number of donators, he's now counting the number of donators and has completely restricted access to how much money he's actually earned until he will supposedly tell everyone at the end of the month. Furthermore. What he is saying is that his objective is not to raise $500 a month, but to raise 500 donators a month, irrespectively of what they actually donate. Since we know people are already donating more than $1, this means that, theoretically, if Venom Fang X had 450 people donate $5 a piece, then he could have garnered $2,250 and he wouldn't be required to donate a penny to the Sick Kids Hospital until his goal of 500 donators a month was obtained. You could quickly see where this is going. On his website, he posted the following dilemma. If someone sends me $10, should I keep $1 and donate the other 9? You can see the difficulty. There's no difficulty, Venom, not if you actually stuck with your original plan the plan that everyone was donating to in the first place. A few days later, he posted this message right before he shows his third video of evangelizing the people. Uh, and lastly, I did say that I would be sending certain amounts of money to donations, or to charities, and certain amounts to my ministry and savings, and I wanted to be transparent about it, but because atheists have been so ferocious about this whole thing, I can no longer do that. So instead, I've opted for a different approach. This video will continue to be up and will be updated as best I can on a daily basis. At the bottom, you load, there will be the month. So to the month today will be whatever it says there, as well as the amount of supporters that we've reached in the month, as well as the goal per month. So check back frequently and see, and the goal is concerning how many people have donated in that month. Originally, I said about $1 from each individual uh, and about 500 individuals, and I think that sounds fair. Um, I will indeed be donating to charity, but I will no longer disclose how much because of the atheist backlash here. So apparently, because people like DPR Jones, who has very correctly pointed out that if you fundraise money based off a of sick kid's hospital and instead you garner all the money for yourself, you could be getting a knock on the door from Johnny Law, 
Venom Fang X is no longer able to disclose how much money he will actually donate to charity at the end of the month. So let's see what we started with. We started with Venom Fang X asking for $500 a month and extra money going to Sick Kids Hospital. He reported his earnings every day. Now, the only thing he will disclose is the number of donators who contributed to his cause. There is no indication of the amount of money that he earned, and he just said there will be no indication of what he donated. This means he could potentially be earning thousands of dollars a month and will not have to give to charity until he gets 500 donators. Furthermore, once he does get 500 donators a month, he doesn't have to disclose how much he actually donated. Based off of how radical a change this charity drive has been for Venom Fang X, it takes little to assume that at the end of the month he will provide no evidence whatsoever that he actually donated any money. You can see while I called him a snake in the grass, he has clearly demonstrated that his interest is exploiting the religiosity of his subscribers to make money. While all of you who are watching this video are no doubt infuriated by Venom's actions, I propose a far more constructive alternative. If Venom Fang X is not going to donate to charity, then we will. If Venom wants to raise money for himself so he could blow it on his own luxuries, then I propose we start a competing charity to actually raise money for the needy children that he won't support. Allow me to introduce to you the charity and why this cause is so important. Malaria is a mosquito-borne infectious disease that infects 515 million people annually. Every year, between 1 and 3 million people are killed, the vast majority of them being young children in Sub-Saharan Africa. Children are particularly susceptible to malaria, the vast majority of fatalities resulting from infection within the first five years of age. While the current infection rate is 515 million people globally per year, without intervention, the problem is estimated to double within 20 years. Symptoms of malaria include fever, shivering, arthralgia, vomiting, anemia, hemoglobinuria, retinal damage, and convulsions. Malaria has also been found to cause cognitive impairments and through its anemic effects it can also inflict brain damage, especially in children. Within regions where HIV is also prevalent, the effects of malaria are compounded. Without treatment, severe cases of malaria have been known to induce both coma and death within days or even hours. Even with intensive care, fatality rates can exceed 20% in severe pandemics. While medical treatment is available, preventative medicine is both cheaper and more effective for combating this pathogenic disease. The nets are both reliable and effective, requiring only a simple insecticide treatment once every five years. They have been proven to reduce chances of contracting malaria by over 70%. However, not everyone can afford one. The illness itself and the malaria treatment result in a loss of wage. This is a contributor to poverty on a whole. When compounded with the poverty some people already live in, especially in rural areas, many people cannot afford to protect their families. Currently, only one of every 20 people in Africa own a net. This is where you come in. Malaria No More is an internationally renowned non-profit NGO dedicated to malaria relief through providing insecticide treated mosquito nets, educational services for how the netting and insecticide are used, logistical support, and other services necessary for combating the malaria epidemic in Africa. They have been widely promoted, one promoter being American Idol in combination with multiple celebrities for example. They are a reliable and cost-effective charity for providing anti-malarial services to Africa. Malaria No More advocates a $10 solution to malaria. $10 is the amount of money required to manufacture, ship, and distribute one mosquito net to a family in Africa, as well as to educate them about their use. To donate, go to www.firstgiving.com slash malaria no more charity, link provided in the video description. Click on the donate button and fill out the necessary fields. You will not be solicited. If everything looks good on the confirmation page, hit confirm and you'll be provided with a receipt that you could use towards tax deductibles. Donation activity is automatically updated on the page and you can see how far the fundraiser has progressed. Every month, First Giving will automatically send a check to Malaria No More. I do not handle the money, nor can I access it. Payment is fast, secure, and easy. No one has access to your account information and all transactions are secure. Multiple YouTubers have already agreed to mirror this video in their support of this cause, as can you. April 25th is World Malaria Day. What are you waiting for? Donate today and help protect Africans from this harmful disease. Your contribution today may very well be the one that saves a life tomorrow.